Hey guys, Eric here with Eric Reviews, and today I will be reviewing a Polo Green or Polo Original. This is the original Polo. Alright, so this is the bottle for Polo Green, and I have the 2013 one. I was lucky to get this, it's a 2013 batch. And it lasts, uh, I think it lasts almost twice as long as the reformulation. It projects better. It's just uh, stronger. It's a tester bottle though, but... So there's the, the bottle. So this came out in uh, 1978, and it was created by Carlos Benayme. Like, this is... It's pretty old. Pretty dated, but... I think I still see a lot of people wearing this. Well, mostly older crowd. And it has a ton of notes, so I'm just going to summarize summarize them. So it has uh, bergamot, artemisia, caraway, coriander, juniper berries, and basil. With mint notes of jasmine, geranium, pepper, chamomile, pine tree needles, rose, leather, carnation. Sitting on base notes of vetiver, oak moss, musk, patchouli, amber, tobacco, and cedar. And let's give this a spray. I got a dreamer on this hand, so I'm going to have to spray probably here. Let's see. Sprays a lot. Sprays really good. And I have the 2013 batch. So they say this is a, this lasts longer. And it projects better than the reformulation, but I'm I'm not sure. I haven't smelled the the newer batches. Okay, right off the bat, I'm getting a lot of uh, a lot of pine. Yeah, it's like like I just went and chopped down a pine tree, and that's that's what I'm smelling. Yeah, this is really a really masculine scent. Like, Smell like a pine tree with uh, what is that? Tobacco and a little bit of leather in the back. Yeah, this is a manly fragrance. This is not not gonna be good for your uh, people who like blue fragrances or fresh scents. This is a this is a man right here. Yeah, tobaccoy pine and leather. And as far as uh, longevity and projection, this stuff is a monster. It projects for, uh, I think, like three to four hours. And then longevity, I get like nine, nine to ten hours on my skin. But then again, this is a 2013 batch. And I heard those, uh, those last longer. I don't know why. I think every time they reformulate something, they make it weaker. Probably to sell more, but I understand since it's business. And as far as price, you're getting these bottles for, uh, this is the, this is 118 mil, and I saw this at a fragrance net for, I think, 40, 45 to 50, to 50 dollars for this, and I think that was a tester. This is also a tester, doesn't have a cap, or a, didn't come with the box either. But yeah, as far as uh, when to wear this. I think you gotta wear this outside, like, maybe to the Christmas party. I'd, I'd probably wear this to the Christmas party. Smell like a pine tree. And uh, I don't think this is an office scent or a gym scent. You don't, you don't want to wear this there. It's pretty strong, and not a lot of people like this scent. Unless you're hanging out with the older crowd, then they'll probably love it. And as far as when to wear this, this... This feels more like a like a winter scent. Like I'd wear this in the winter, just because of the pine needles, the tobacco, the leather. Winter and fall, and mostly at night. If I'm doing something at night. And then as far as for the, as far as uh, the age, I think 30 to 35 and up to wear this. I don't see younger people wearing this or liking it. And then as as far as the rating, or let me let me smell the dry down. Should be dry down by now.
or some of it. Okay, the pine is almost gone. It's still there, but it's more in the back. And I smell a lot of leather, tobacco, and uh, what is that? It's like minty patchouli, I think. Yeah, patchouli and a little bit of musk coming in. Yeah, still a manly scent. This is a. I don't recommend this for young young people. If anything, I might give this to my dad. Cause he think he'll love this. I'm not really gonna wear this. Probably decant it out, or just give it to him if it doesn't decant or if it doesn't sell. And uh, let me know in the in the comments or message me, and I'll get you a 10 mil decant or 10 mil decant or a 5 mil, whatever you want of this. It's pretty strong stuff. Now, as far as the rating, I think I'm gonna give this like a probably like a 7.5 out of 10. It has the, the performance is there, the longevity. It's not too expensive, but it's not really mass appealing, so you're not really gonna get a lot of compliments from this. And so yeah, guys. 7.5 out of 10 and uh so that was my review on polo the original or people call it polo green and uh don't forget to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe for more fragrance content and i'm out